Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Tristus logging back in for the first time in years, just in time for this year's Halloween event, which is a lot of fun. That means the slasher kills are back, you can wear any mask with any knife after vengeful spirit kills. Also, you can hop on a flash, and while I'm not 100% sure if road kills count towards the Headless Horseman tally, any flash weapon will. However, this only seems to work while wearing the pumpkin head. I'm real proud of my pumpkin carving this year, so I'm like throwing a quick pic of me and my girl's pumpkin heads. Anyways, since you're not always provided with situations for flash kills, I chose the knife path. Uh, you can also choose Hallow Hunter, which uses the slasher or candy cannon for kills. But this one is based off of ribbons, so I think it's like 10 kills per ribbon, so that actually adds up to be uh, a lot more than anything else. I really don't recommend using the candy cannon, that thing is a toy. I believe it's a two headshot kill, and I'm just not good enough for that. And plus, uh, the animation is very distracting. So I opted for the slasher only until I realized the, the charged knife would be way faster. Here is some slasher footage. Every word you say is sarcastic to me. The slash is fun and all, but this kind of thing happening is why I eventually end up switching knives. Now you have to have either the vampire or nightmare implants on. I didn't have nightmare, so I went with vampire cat like five. Uh, besides crouch walking speed, here's a situation where cat light came in. Here. Also, I'm new to this whole player made base thing, but these ended up being great places for knife kills just because there are a lot of places to hide, and for some reason, people just keep spawning here. I think I remember there was like another one on the other side of the road there at Frostfall. I think that's, I, uh, sorry. I think it's better now though. 
Like, it wasn't quite a patch over there yet, confirmed, but we only saw two. This is my first Planet Side video. If anyone knows how to separate game and voice audio, it would be appreciated if you could explain that one to me. Uh, this is also where I switch knives, and it's really going to help your chances of killing good players. I've noticed a few really good outfits such as AC and Recursion popped up on my server, which is now called Emerald. Um, it's not that they're great individual players, like my buddy Seth, he's an absolute monster. Uh, I'm not saying that they don't have those too, but it's the fact that they're all good, and they freaking run in packs. No problem. So to get the Arax directive, do you only have to kill one Galacto Pumpkin or like uh, ten? Also, if you do not have a tank and you feel so inclined and say I have an ESF and my ESF is magnificent and can kill infantry like a fucking machine, please pull the ESF and bombard those idiots who are outdoors and make them cry. If you were in a lightning and you were miserable and you think I would rather be in my ESF, well, guess what? You're in luck. Perfect occasion to pull an ESF. I'm serious. Do it. I want to. I want to bombard the crap out of them. Just, just A to G, out the ass. Do it. Uh, Kabobka, okay. looks like you were right. We have hostiles moving from the south. Off. Nancy Armacol, I'm giving you a location. Uh, where they came from, I don't have eyes on uh, NC Armor Column. Oh, wait, I have eyes on NC Armor Column. Holy shit, north right side, north. pass again. Right next to north. A knife to a gun Platoon, relocate north, we need some help dispatching NC Armor Column. Everyone, Delta Waypoint, let's go. Or Charlie Waypoint. Go, Mike. You know where they are, let's move. NC Armor Column, Sunday spot ball. all Sunday ball. Don't move up, move back, move back. Charlie, move back, Charlie, move back. Move back to Big Star, Platoon Waypoint. Platoon waypoint has been updated. I need all tanks to relocate over here. Stat. All lightning tanks. Let's go. Don't be behind people. Just line it up. We're gonna move slowly. I want everyone to move at 0.5 kph. I want you to inch your way forward. We're gonna inch our way towards the enemy. You're gonna inch your way there until we're right up their ass, and then we're gonna destroy them because we are better and we are more, and they're idiots That's and they're awesome. NC, which they're inferior. We're pinker. Also, don't do this if you don't have a lot of patience. So if you choose to do this event, um, you're gonna piss a lot of people off and they will hunt you. Leader, I'll do if no one else will. 
Unfortunately, some players are trying really hard to be good, so they get super pissed when they die to a knife. The charged knife makes a pretty obvious sound that can give you away. Uh, most of the time, there's too much going on to tell, but in the quieter fights, you're gonna have to turn it on before the kill. Here's the moment we've all been waiting for. Is the reward implant worth it? But 
first, I see this all the time. Uh, this is a great example why you don't put mines where you're defending. Anyway, here's the final kill. Here's my next login. I'm just redeploying to find a fight. Uh, then I notice that I have 10,000 certs and you can't get any more, so I'm just gonna spend them. And I'm still trying to get Nightmare. That would be fun to play with. And I don't get it, so I'm gonna break them down. And I noticed that that's kind of a lot of uh, reward from that. And then it dawns on me that uh, the implant is gone, so... There's your answer. <laughs> no, it is not worth it.